Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Homer Bryce Stadium in historic Nacogdoches, Texas. Today, ASN presents this matchup in the Southland Conference between Central Arkansas Bears and the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. This is going to be a good one with Butch Alcindor, former McNeese defensive end. I'm Lynn Rollins. You know, Butch, both of these quarterbacks have big numbers and big play potential. UCA's Hayden Hildebrand, SFA's Zach Conk. Let's look on your side of the ball. Who's responsible for holding these guys down That's today? That's right, because they are two outstanding defensive teams, no doubt about that. We start with the Central Arkansas Bears, and number nine, he's cornerback Tyler Williams, a 6'1", 194-pound senior. He excels at man-to-man -man coverage and can turn and run with some of the bigger receivers in this league. Right now, he leads the Southland Conference in pass breakups. And number 11, free safety Jalen Lofton. He's 6'1 and 175 pounds. He's a junior. He was part of that secondary that held southeastern Louisiana to 83 yards total passing. That was outstanding. He's also the guy that puts everyone in the right position, and that's why Central Arkansas has the number one defense in the Southland Conference. Now, on the other side, for the Lumberjacks, their defense, well, it starts with the defensive line, and that means the defensive ends. Kedrick Harrison, a 6'2", 246-pounder, he's already recorded seven and a half sacks, and on the other in the big guy John Franklin he's 6'4 and a tad under 280 if he hasn't had lunch if he has he's probably a lot bigger than that he has six sacks for the season so far but his main asset is he pressures the quarterback he gets in their face and he can make some turnovers happen in a hurry and down the stretch they come in the Southland Conference. We are in November, and there are two teams who are undefeated in the league. And right now, it looks like they're on a collision course. Arkansas, Central Arkansas, 6-0, a perfect record. They've won six in a row. Of course, Sam Houston State, number one in FCS. They are outstanding, 8-0 overall. And that's going to be a shootout coming up later this year. Conk is alone. He'll take the snap. From Pullins, he'll keep it, run to the right side at the five, and he lumbers in. He was untouched. Good blocking on the right side of the line. And Zach Conk, who accounted for six touchdowns a week ago, gets the first one here today. And take a look at Zach because he was very patient on this play, and that's what set it up. He hesitated just a little bit to let his blocking form, and then it parted like the seas, and Zach takes it in for the touchdown. As you mentioned, that's seven touchdowns now in less than two games. The turnover was extremely costly for the Bears as they put it on the carpet on the first play from scrimmage. What a good call, though. You take out the running backs, you spread the field out, you open it up some, and the line really got a good surge opening that hole up for Conk. Let's take another look at Zach Conk on his way to the end zone. As you can see what I'm talking about, he's got some big friends pulling in front of him, but that little hesitation it allowed the blocks to take place, and Conk goes in. He now has 75 career touchdowns here at Stephen F. Austin, and that was just a heady play right there. You know, he's 6'6", 238 pounds, so it's like a linebacker playing quarterback. So he, he's going to bring it, and but that time he walked in. Great blocking in front of him. The right side of that line. Wilson is back to receive the kick. It angles to the left side. He'll take it from the corner. Moving to his left, trying to get a blocking wall, and it does not develop, but he is able to outrun a couple of would-be tacklers, and with a nice return from one side of the field all the way to the other, he gets it out to the 28-yard line. It looked like he was going to be bottled up at about the 15. But that's what speed will do for you, Lynn. Speed kills. That's what they say. He was all the way down on his one-yard line. And then he brings it all the way back across. You can't do that unless you have that blinding speed. He runs the 40 and 4-4, and he got to show it off right there. And, of course, he's one of the guys that's still on this Central Arkansas team that Coach Conk actually recruited. So he has a handful of guys that he's still playing against that he actually recruited to Conway, Arkansas. Second and about five here near the goal line. Conk. Keeps it, lumbers, and he's in for the second time. A double fake, kind of an old-fashioned cross-buck fake. You don't hear that term very often. And Conk went the left side and was brushed at the goal line but scored easily. It's almost a variation of that zone read. He takes it in there, pulls it out right there. He sees the hole again, and once again, great blocking right there for Zach Conk as he takes it in. I really like that play call on the uh, near the end zone, don't you? Because they have to respect the run inside. At that time, everybody went for the ball carrier, except Kalk pulled it out and took it around the left side in for the touchdown. 
Saturday in Nacogdoches, Texas, UCA, Central Arkansas out of Conway, came down to Nacogdoches and came away with a 34-14 victory to remain unbeaten in the Southland Conference at 7-0. And the Bears did it despite 100 yards in penalties and six turnovers. Well, you got to be really good to do that, no doubt about it. And here's one of the turnovers coming up right there. Warren coughs up the football right there, Stephen F. Austin on the recovery. And then Zach Conk takes it in, power sweep for the quarterback. That's the first touchdown of the game. We come right back. Hildebrand looking in the end zone. He has his big tight end for another touchdown. And this time, Desmond Smith, his favorite receiver, hauls it in. Smith, nine catches for 116 yards and that touchdown. And then Conk, and check out the reception right there by Liggins. What a catch. He hauled it in. That would set up this touchdown by Conk. Number 76 on his career at Stephen F. Austin as he bangs in for the touchdown. Stephen F. Austin in this game all the way, but UCA just kept pounding that ball in there. They used six running backs in this game. That was a touchdown. They were very impressive. They were also impressive on defense. Coming up with a big pick right there. Porter with the interception. Down the sidelines he would go in this game. As Lynn said, they had six turnovers, three fumbles, and three interceptions. But they just kept pounding the ball right there as Wells banging in for the touchdown. You know what's really impressive about this UCA team? They are now 14-2 and against league competition in the last two seasons. And they have not lost a road game against the Southland Conference team over the last two years. They know how to get it done. Let's look at some final numbers today. 59 yards. Stephen F. Austin in the rushing category. That's about par for this league-leading defense. That's what we said. They have the best defense in the Southland Conference. The Bears do. They came in giving up 61 yards a game. So you can see they went under their average, allowing only 59 yards rushing. Today. And 502 total yards of offense for the Bears. The final score, 34-14. UCA remains perfect in the Southland Conference.